Yes! Today, Cheltenham Town of League One take on Albert Church of the Southern League Central Division in the greatest cup competition in the land, the FA Cup. Albert Church are the lowest ranked side remaining in this year's competition and it is the first time they have qualified for the first round proper in 49 years. I was at Lime Meadow for Albert Church's last FA Cup fixture against Worksop Town who they beat 3-2 and the scenes that day were incredible. It was a great advert for what the FA Cup means to non-league teams. A big crowd back in a village football team and they were celebrating the qualification for the first round proper. Today I will be going to Cheltenham Town FC and sitting in the Albert Church away end. I will be going actually on the Albert Church supporters coach down to Cheltenham and I believe uh, Albert Church have sold out 1,400 uh, tickets which they was given. But it really is an incredible story for Albert Church and today is probably one of if not the biggest game in their history. And I feel really privileged to be covering this game on my YouTube channel. But they do have some very difficult opposition today in Cheltenham Town who play their football four leagues higher than Albert Church. But nothing is impossible as this uh, competition has shown over the years. It has a really good reputation of massive upsets and hopefully we can see one today. I'll see you at the Haze. We're here at the Hayes now, uh, Albert Church's training ground, uh, waiting for the supporters coach to come. Um, a lot of people are starting to arrive here now. I think Albert Church are taking quite a few uh, coaches down to uh, Cheltenham. Uh, the players, uh, a manager and chairman have all been here uh, amongst the fans. Facilities here look really good, a uh, really nice clubhouse and bar. Uh, they're really uh, making the most of this Albert Church to be fair to them. Uh, selling a lot of merchandise, a, a lot of drinks at the bar. Uh, you know, a lot of uh, there's a burger van. Uh, they're selling sausage and bacon baps. They're really making the most of this as the fans uh, arrive here, waiting for the supporters coach. Hopefully, this is the start of a very special day for Albert Church. ground now, uh, very nice ground to be fair, proper League 1 or 2 uh, ground, uh, the away end is filling up very nicely, loads of Al Albert Church fans here today, uh, like I said earlier. Uh, yeah, really do like this ground though, a very good atmosphere building up in here, hopefully we're in for a very special afternoon of football.
seconds into the tie and Howard Jets has got a free kick right outside the penalty area. Massive opportunity. Oh, hello. Come on. One nil to Alva Church uh, came from a challenge town mistake. I think it was Caleb Taylor at the back losing the ball. And uh, to be fair to the church, they kept the composure and put the ball in the back of the net. Absolutely incredible scenes here. Absolute limbs, people running down the roads, smoke bombs being thrown on the pitch. Absolute scenes. Come on, the church. This away end is absolutely bouncing. Time 1-0 uh, to Alba Church and I'd even go as far to say as they've been the better side, they certainly had the better chances. The Cheltenham Town defence looked really shook up. I don't know if it's the pressure of the away end right behind them, but they're making a lot of mistakes. Alba Church have done the right thing to be fair, they haven't allowed Cheltenham Town to get on the ball and play some nice football. Uh, you know, Cheltenham have barely been able to 
uh, put a, a, you know one, two, three, four passes together. Uh, the, the, the pressure from Alvchurch has been fantastic. The pressing, the energy has been really good. Alvchurch have defended really well as well, especially the corners going into the box. You know, uh, Chatham have some big players, especially the likes of Caleb Taylor. He's like six foot seven tall, but you know, uh, the church have dealt with it. Hopefully they can just hang on in the second half, uh, take the chances when they get them, and they should be fine. Come on the church, fantastic half of football. And from them back in the game now though. Uh, 54 minutes on the clock come on church let's see this out the Cheltenham Town there. Really, really good opportunity. Yes, I, thought, I thought he was offside to start off with though. Come on the church, let's stay in this. Come 
how is it about there? Clearance off the line from a free kick, which should have never been a free kick. Shocking decision from the ref. Quality effort and desire from these Alger players. Sticking in there right till the end. Come on, this church.
full time Cheltenham Town 1, Alba Church 2 and what a day to be an Alba Church fan. Uh, the scenes at the end really sum it up what it means to this football club, the biggest win in their history. That certainly was one of my favourite ever footballing uh, adventures and yet another pitch invasion thanks to the magic of Aereo Texera, what a legend. But he has provided me with three pitch invasions in the matter of months. But in all seriousness, uh, congratulations to everyone at Alva Church Football Club. You know, from Richard Thorndike, the chairman, to Ian Long, the manager, to all the players. Absolutely congratulations. And I look forward to the draw on Monday to see who you've got. You know, Warsaw, uh, Shrewsbury, uh, Solly or Moores, potentially Burton Albion are all in the uh, hat for the next round. Any of them away would be absolutely fantastic. And I think if Alva Church played like they did today, they would all be winnable games if they're on the top four. But if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to give the video a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching until the end. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more Midlands football content. I think I'm going to go home now, have a pizza and uh, count down the hours till match of the day. Up the church. See you in the next one.